Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Picking here. I'm getting ready to go into Savers to see what I can find. I will show you my haul and everything I get. All right, so here's everything that I got at Savers. I'm super excited about the finds that I, I got. And believe it or not, thrift stores you can sell on Amazon. So let me give you a glimpse into what I think that I'm going to make and I'll explain the fee structure and everything. So here we have an as seen on TV, the original um, chicken steamer. And so I actually did pop up in the box. It's still all in its original packaging um, and it didn't have a seal on it. So um, after fees on Amazon, I'm gonna make $6. I paid $4 for it. So I'm going to be able to profit two. A lot of you may be thinking that's not a lot of money, but I actually already got a military discount, which was 30% off. But I wanna give you guys actual numbers for what I paid. Just in case you have a savers in your area, you can still go full price and make profits on things. All right, um, so then the next item I have is this is a um, Daily Blessings um, kind of lemon tea set. Um, and so uh, I paid $4 for it. $6.50 is what I can make after fees. So my total is going to be $2.50 on this. This was something that I know I couldn't send to FBA. And so I will be merchant fulfilling it, which may be that I can make a little bit more money than that. But I want to give you kind of FBA numbers just in case you're an FBA seller on that one. Then I've got a no fame, no flow. Uh, smoke great aroma basically candle warmer 650 is what I can do after fees four dollars is what I paid for it two dollars and fifty cents are my profits on that one and all of these items so far are going to the Amazon FBA warehouse except for this one that I will be merchant fulfilling but it's still being sold on Amazon then this one is a um, knife and tool sharpener and it was one of those things that are hanging on the walls in the thrift stores um, and so 575 is what I um, can make after fees minus my three dollars I spent on it two dollars and 75 cents so I'm essentially you know doubling my money on that one just shy of then um, I found a whole section of pet supplies which I was really excited about and so this is actually Crab Island Jungle Bed. Basically, it's bedding you put in the bottom of a crab tank. $5.50 is what I can earn. Um, I paid $2 for it. $3.50 is my profits on that one. Um, and then these are going to all just take me minutes to list and ship into the warehouse. Then I've got this cool, um, basically it's a vacuum attachment to clean your blinds. Um, $7.50 is what I can make after fees. $3 is what I paid. $4.50, and these all had decent sales ranks on them. Then I've got this um, Thermal Terrain Calcium Sand, uh, also from the pet section. Um, after fees, I'm going to make $8, $3 is what I paid, so five bucks total is what my profit will be um, after I pay myself back. And then this next item, I wanted to kind of explain to you um, why Anytime I go to the DVD section, I look and find the completely sealed ones. I never buy used ones, unless of course it's outrageous or unique, but this one was brand new. The cool thing about this was there were two or three Smallville series. This one was the fifth season. Some of the other seasons, totally not worth it. So just because one season is not worth it, check out all of them, and this one was definitely worth it. So I can make $10.50 um, on Amazon minus my $4 I spent on it, $6.50 on that item particularly. And then um, I've got this uh, pet shower. I'll flip it over so you can kind of look at it. It's basically a hose to attach to your regular uh, shower head so that you can wash your pets. Um, $12 after fees, $4 is what I paid for it. $8 is what I'm gonna make on that one. And then this was my gem, okay? I can't believe that I found this one. I was super excited. So this is a Phillips called Candelier. It's basically a base with a bronze brush or a silver brush uh, finish on it and it's three little candles you basically stick in your window so I um, spent three dollars on it I can after fees make thirty eight fifty for a total profit of thirty five dollars and fifty cents on that one piece and the cool thing about it is it does have a little bit of a higher sales rank but it's because there's not very many on there so there's hardly any competition so that's all my Amazon stuff so you can definitely from a thrift store find stuff to sell on Amazon. So that's everything from Amazon. Now let me show you my gems that I'm going to try to sell on eBay. Um, eBay is a great marketplace for the unique and hard to find. So this is a 40th 
airlift squadron screaming eagles bell it's in fantastic condition i spent four dollars on it the 3.99 tag is on it i found 40th airlift squadron items online they had patches they had coins they had different things like that but nothing that was a bell and so i am looking to price this very high auction style on ebay and then slowly step it down with the hopes that i can make at least ten dollars on this one particular item I may make $50, I may make $10, but um, I want to make at least $10 on that after I pay my four bucks back. So it would be $14 that I would make profit. Then I just found this very unique. It's basically a stone with a very, very gorgeous nativity scene on it. I paid $4 for this one as well, and this one will go on eBay, and I know it'll take a fantastic picture. I can also decide if I wanted to, to put this on Poshmark in the houseware section. And so I'm gonna kind of do some investigating, finding out where this would sell the best. Um, Poshmark, you don't have fees up front. eBay, you do, but uh, what market would it be best to put this on? And so that's something that I'm gonna sell. It's really cool, it's got you know, kind of a neat stone on the back. So that just was a very beautiful piece. Then this one was very, very unique. My hubby actually knew the most about this type of thing. Um, so it's got really unique subject matter. Um, I think it's from about the 50s or 60s based off of the type of hook that's on the back of it. This is considered chalk art and chalk art is very popular depending on the subject matter. And so I'm also with this uh, nativity and with this expecting to make $10 each for each one of these, but I'm gonna definitely do it auction style and start it much higher than that, hoping that maybe I can get $30 a piece on each one is kind of where I'm gonna start at with it. But this is a really unique piece, chalk art, very old looking um, and just a neat, piece and so um there's some ideas of how when i go to a thrift store i think amazon for sure because that's the quick easy flip but as you can see the prices are um, not as high you know this was a golden one but everything else is kind of let's make two to four dollars and then here's where i feel like i'm going to make some good money too so on the total haul itself i'm going to make around a hundred dollars is my hope um and i definitely feel very confident on the amazon stuff because i've seen the sales ranks and the track record of that and then these i may make even more and so i'm really excited about that so even if you don't have a savers in your area you may have a local thrift store this is stuff that you're going to find at a local thrift store check your salvation armies your goodwills and then the mom and pop thrift store so hopefully it's been helpful to see what you can find at a thrift store um and remember in the end jesus wins you guys are true blessing in my life thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone if you'd like to join these great people please consider supporting me through my patreon page check the link below this is Heather from HookdownPickin.com. If you'd like to purchase my reseller guide, which is fully laminated three cards with checklists for Goodwill, eBay, and Amazon, please click the link below and you can purchase it now. The Goodwill card has over 80 different tips to show you how to walk through the store and what things I look for when walking through a thrift store to buy and resell items on Amazon, eBay, and other platforms. The Amazon reseller checklist has over six major steps and a lot of sub steps to look at in order to find out, is my item going to be perfect for selling and reselling on Amazon? The eBay card also has six major steps to walk through to make sure you're choosing the right item that will be perfect for reselling and making money on eBay. Each card is fully laminated so that it cannot be destroyed easily, and it's perfect for taking with you while you're going on your picking and finding treasure hunting for reselling. I hope this is helpful, and I hope these cards help you to focus your energy to pick the right items to resell online to grow your reseller business. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.